Do you know that the French are known for the romance? It is true. Today is vlog day 1104. It's 9.30 a.m. and it's already sweltering in my room, which is great. That's a great sign. I think it's in the, oh, good morning. Sorry, didn't mean to be rude. It's in the mid 80s, I think mid to high 80s out there in Paris today. And it's supposed to get up to 108, which is horrifying. So I'm gonna, you know, still try to live my life. I'm not sure what else to do about it. I guess I could always try and go see a movie or something to get out of the heat this evening, which I very well may likely do. But this morning, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go by Fringe because I've got some coffee that I told Jeff about that I wanted him to give a try. From there, I would like to in the afternoon, early the afternoon go by Bon Esprit because I have something special for them that I think you'll like and if you happen to be in Paris want to go get a beer they usually have air conditioning oh that's a good point definitely a good reason to go there right now and I'm gonna be leaving something extra special there for you to pick up if you happen to be going through uh, and there's a limited number of them so you know Stick around for that. And after that, there are a few fountains I want to check out because theoretically, Mayor Hidalgo has opened up all of the city's fountains to people to jump into if they want to. I'm not going to be doing that today because believe it or not, uh, the camera, not so waterproof. Me, not so shirt off ready. I will be by October. That is not going to be shirt off season. So I guess it's just not going to happen. But I want to go check out a few fountains. The famous ones in town that everyone is diving into, of course, are the Trocadero fountains. So I'll, I'll try to make it over to those. Uh, but then I also wanted to see over at Place des Vosges because those fountains are like sacred and I totally expect people to be in them. And yeah, so let's just bounce around and try to stay cool in the heat. And oh man, it's already just so, it feels gross in here right now. So uh, good luck to all of us. They're re-releasing Donnie Darko. What? Anywho, back into the heat. I got really sucked into writing there, which is a good thing. I just spent the last four hours writing uh, between both books. I feel like I'm getting really close to finishing up the proposal. I have to have some example chapters aligned for, which is, it's a little bit of a challenge. So thankfully, uh, my buddy Jane, who was counseling me on the whole process, offered to give it one more look later. And so I've sent it off to her to give it one more look. And holy smokes, is it hot outside. Wow. Whew. Feels like I'm in Arizona right now. Jiminy Christmas. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Well, let's wait for this bus to get away from us. I'm gonna grab myself some fruit really quick because I haven't really eaten anything. Eat an apple and then let's go check out Place des Vosges because it's not too far from here. We can see what's going on there as far as the fountains are concerned. Could be exciting, could be a letdown, I have no idea. Drop by Bon Esprit, give them the special goods that I'll tell you about here in a second. Enjoy their air conditioning, work for a little bit longer, and then jump over to the Trocadero Fountains. That sounds like a plan. Bonjour. Au revoir. Fountains look lovely, but I guess it's too hot. There's nobody here. 
Just a few people in the shade and uh, nobody jumping in the water. Everyone's hanging out down in their basements. Underground Paris is the coolest place to be right now, for sure, especially for a city that has like no air conditioning. Yeah, it's pretty toasty, to be honest. With a, there's a nice little breeze coming through here in the shade. It feels pretty pleasant, it's dry, it's not bad. I definitely don't feel like too hot, but I'm about to put that to the test because I'm gonna try and ride all the way to Bon Esprit. It's like an 11 minute ride away and it's gonna be all direct sunlight and asphalt. So uh, this could get kind of toasty. Definitely gonna earn a nice cold beer. I know I'm not, not supposed to be having any beer right now, but I'm probably gonna earn one on this trip. <laughs> Tried to make a fancy jump. Thank you. 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 Didn't really do anything extra with them. I just put the design on it and thought it would work. All of them or one of each? Just, just, just this one, yeah. It's all the same. Nice. Perfect. Cool. Cheers. If you want one of these coasters, you gotta come here and grab a beer, basically. Yep. Yeah. Exclusive to Bon Esprit. Exclusive to Bon Esprit. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Adios. See you guys. All right. I got a little bit more riding done. I didn't think I would. Had a beer. Basically, I've eaten an apple, a banana, coffee, and a beer today. It's a good start. Keeping it light and uh, not really feeling hungry in the heat, to be honest. But I will eat. I think I'm going to eat a big dinner. That's my plan. I'm saving all those calories for a nice big dinner because I'm craving it rather than all the light stuff that I have been eating. So, in the meantime, let's head over to Trocadero via the metro and uh, see if it's crawling with people in the fountain or if the emptiness of Paris has reached all the way to the Eiffel Tower as well. And maybe, I mean, pff, the rest of the city is just completely devoid of life. So, we'll see if anybody's over there. All right, let's take the wheel-friendly way down. I don't want to go through the center because, well, I don't know if it's packed with people. Actually, let's go investigate that really quick. I'm really curious to see. And then we'll take the route that uh, I found once by asking Google Maps for a bike route. Kind of comes as a surprise that Google Maps would get something like that so right. Nice little shortcut that I didn't know existed. But for the moment, how many people are out here braving the sun for a shot of the Eiffel Tower? This is dangerous, <laughs> I think, hold on. 
for obvious reasons. Probably shouldn't keep my camera down here too long, but it's so much cooler down there. Even if you're not gonna swim, it's refreshing. Holy smokes. Even just being down there for a couple minutes, I feel refreshed. That was great. This is normally not open. Usually you can't swim in the fountains, but they've uh, opened it up to great success and there are a lot of people here. Not quite as many as I would have originally guessed, but after seeing how empty Paris is already for vacation, it's not a total surprise. My wheel's not really happy with the heat. It didn't get to get refreshed, so it, I think it wants a break, which means it's metro time again, and I think I will leave you here. I'm gonna go find a shady spot to cool off because I don't wanna be out in the sun anymore either, so I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for hopefully a much cooler, at least more reasonably warm day than today, and uh, hope it's going well for you wherever you are and that you're not roasting as much of Europe certainly is. And I'll see you tomorrow morning for, you know, whatever comes next. Yeah.